All right, so I thought I'd do some Mike Miske updates. So basically, this is just stuff that you can read on. Uh, Ian Lynn did a new story on Silva Beat that has a lot of details that primarily came from testimony from James Borling Salas right here, who uh, was a confidential informant for the FBI and uh, HPD. And uh, he had basically said that he had witnessed Jonathan Frazier being uh, beaten by Lance Bermudez right above him and Jake Smith and that they also burned him with a propane torch and uh, may have also possibly uh, boiled some of his bones at a location in Kalihi where Smith and Bermudez were living with some other people. And uh, it also had some details in there about when Jake Smith would go to Mike Miske for certain jobs so he could get money, whether it be ripping off rival drug dealers or slapping somebody around or whatever the case may be. But it had a lot of, uh, you know, details in the disappearance of Jonathan Frazier and kind of uh, the involvement of James Borling Salas and his grandmother, um, although it didn't name them directly. Uh, they were kind of identified as uh, C2 and C3 in the story. And Borling Salas was later uh, killed at OCCC in 2019. He was beaten to death by a group of inmates for his involvement uh, with this case, with going to the FBI. So uh, it's a pretty in-depth story. I encourage you to read it. Uh, not much has come out since Lance Bermudez has uh, since flipped. It'll be interesting to see what uh, he uh, testifies to um, in his plea deal what kind of details come out there, but uh, it's likely that he had been involved in the disappearance of Frazier, and uh, it'll be interesting if he provides more details about that. But I highly encourage you to go read Inland's uh, story, which is on Civil Beat, and uh, has a lot of new details involved in this case.